Right now in Bozeman, a packed house at the Brick Breed and Field House for the Trump rally now underway. We'll take you there. Plus, we'll show you the festivities leading up to the rally with some supporters traveling thousands of miles to be there, what it means for them to be a part of it. And in Bozeman, the Montana Democratic Party is holding a rally in support of protecting reproductive rights and freedom of choice. I'll have more tonight on the candidates who spoke at the event and the energy from the crowd. Tonight, live coverage of the Trump rally in Bozeman as we come in the air at 10 o'clock. Right now, former President Donald Trump is speaking at the Brick Breed and Field House, looking to give Republicans a boost in a high-profile U.S. Senate race. We go live to the rally to listen in. You, you, you can, can, you can, can count, count on it. A politician, their first statement, Steve, is always a statement. Now, now Steve, Steve said, I'm going to protect your second amendment. That was a long time ago. ago. He, he said, said, I'm going to take, take care, care of our police. police. Right, Steve? I, I just don't, don't want to leave any questions in their mind, Steve. But he's, he's so happy I did that little second part. He said, oh, my God. They might think I want to defend that. Steve, he's not a big defender. He's an increaser for the police. We want to take care of our police. They're doing a great job, right? As, As Minnesota's Governor Tim, Tim Wall let rioters and looters burn down Minneapolis. Remember, Remember CNN? CNN? They're, They're right, right back, back there. there. Watch. Oh, there, there goes, goes their light. light. Their, their light, 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 light just went on. While, While the governor's wife opened the windows of the mansion, to enjoy, to enjoy the smell, the smell of the fire. fire. She, she said, said the smell, smell is so beautiful. I love it. I wonder where she's coming, coming from. Wall said, said that socialism, socialism is just another word for neighborliness. She wants to be. He calls them neighbors, good neighbors. neighbors. He signed a bill to give illegal aliens free health care. He abolished Columbus Day. He ordered tampons to be put into boys' bathrooms. Do we have, have any children here? Please close your ears. He ordered tampons in boys' bathrooms. Okay. He signed the law and let the state kidnap children to change their gender so that they go home. And but I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about her. This is her ideology. That's why she picked it. And he signed the bill allowing pedophiles to claim human rights protections under the state law. By the, By the way, way J.D. Vance, Vance is doing a phenomenal job. job. But, but then he said, think of it. Think of the things I just said. Then he said, you know, I think J.D. Vance is weird. You know, it's a word that they use. I think he calls me that, too. No, we're not. We're very solid people. We want to have strong borders. We want to have good elections. And you're watching the Trump uh, rally live in Bozeman. Meantime, supporters traveling from far and wide to be at this rally. NBC Montana's Josh Margolis talked to supporters outside the field house about what this me event means for them. Josh. Well, the excitement inside Brick Breeden Fieldhouse only lasted for a few hours during the speeches. The party outside here went on all day long. And I had the chance to speak to some Trump supporters to see what brought them to Bozeman. You know, especially after Butler, it's just really going to be, be great to see him. That's Shelley Freeman, who drove seven hours from northern Idaho just to see former President Donald Trump. But she's not alone in traveling hundreds of miles to see the 45th president. Some even cross the ocean. We have seen that under Biden's presidency that there was war in Russia and the Middle East. And we worry that there will be another third world war. So just to stop that, and we know that President Trump is the best shot we got for America and the world. That's why we are here. Although Trump was the main attraction, several Montanans we spoke with who flocked to this rally say they also came to support down-ballot candidates, particularly Tim Sheehy, the U.S. Senate candidate who could give control of the chamber to the Republicans if he prevails over incumbent U.S. Senator John Tester. The necessity to vote straight Republican because we don't have time to mess around with the future of our nation. My family fought in the American Revolution, and I feel very strongly that this is a do-or-die situation. And while some of those who came from out of state weren't particularly familiar with Sheehy, 
They say it's vital the man backed by Trump prevails in November. We want to support the America First candidates wherever state you're in. You know, we got to get the rhinos out, get the real America First people back in and take back the country. And although the Trump fans were out in droves, a few protesters could be found on the fringes, as they said they wanted to get their message across as well. Reporting in Bozeman, Josh Margolis, NBC Montana. Also happening outside, vendors from all over flocked to the event at the Brick Breeden. Tables were covered with t-shirts, hats, flags, everything supporters might be looking for to attend the rally. But one vendor took a different approach. Natasha Clark travels around the country selling Trump merchandise. She was in Butler and witnessed the assassination attempt on the former president. And she says that event influenced her merchandise strategy. I've kind of switched some of my merchandise over to um, some Christianity uh, because I feel like we we saw a modern day miracle happen and it, it upsets me <laughs> but um, it's a, it's a miracle that he's still alive she says so far in Bozeman customers are responding positively to that switch and here's a live look over Bozeman from our Opportunity Bank of Montana weather camera. Conditions looking quiet right now, but that will soon change. We're tracking more storms on the way. Meteorologist Mitchell Coombs is live in the Weather Center with what areas will be hit the hardest. Mitchell. All of western Montana will get involved with the thunderstorm activity tomorrow, but southwest Montana will be the focus for that. And the reason for that is this little trough that's diving through this zonal westerly flow. What it's doing is helping to bring a little bit more moisture out of the southwest, and this is going to settle right into southwestern portions of the state, and that's where we could see a little bit more instability, more thunderstorms, and potentially even some stronger storms as well. Looking at the, that precipitation tracker for Butte, that picks up really as we get to about 11 o'clock, peaking for the early and mid-afternoon hours before things start to quiet down. But until then, things are quieting down this evening from today's storms. 51 for that low in Kalispell, 55 for Missoula, 46 in Butte, and 50 in Bozeman. We'll take a look at more details about these thunderstorms with Future Tracker coming up here in eight minutes. Laurel? All right, and you can also track those conditions by downloading the NBC Montana weather app. We'll also send you immediate storm alerts, warnings, forecasts, updates, and much more. It's free in your app store. While some people traveled to Bozeman to rally for Donald Trump, others gathered to rally for a different cause. Montanans for Palestine organized down the road on MSU's campus to protest Trump and the current status quo of American policy in Gaza. The counter rally of more than 60 people marched from the Duck Pond to Cooper Park, where they heard from several speakers. While many of the signs were anti-Trump, they would like Montana Democrats to take a stronger stand against Israel's actions and at least call for a ceasefire. Fire. It's on us. It's on all of us. Um, you can debate, you know, who would be better on Gaza, and I think that, you know, uh, uh, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls would be better, uh, but they need to come out stronger. I'm hoping that more reasoned minds like John Tester can bring those to the table and find a solution. Some of those protesters were also part of another rally earlier in the day. In Bozeman, the Montana Democratic Party held a rally for reproductive rights at the Rialto. The energy was high, with the crowd dancing along the tunes from Missoula-based band Shakewell. Democratic candidates in attendance included candidate for Governor Ryan Bussey, candidate for Attorney General Ben Alke, and candidate for State Senate Cora Newman. The candidates spoke about how important it is for people to get out and vote, especially when it comes to protecting privacy and women's rights to make choices about their own bodies. We like our privacy. We like to live and let live. Um, and so some of these new national ex extremist agenda items like an abortion ban just don't line up with Montana. And so we're here tonight to, um, you know, celebrate Montana's commitment to freedom. Newman says measures like the national abortion ban supported by Republican U.S. Senate candidate Tim Sheehy are a slippery slope to losing more freedoms, and she says that is not what Montana is all about. U.S. Senator John Tester announced his commitment to two additional statewide debates, one in Missoula on September 30th and one in Great Falls October 7th. The debates will be an hour long and will be televised as statewide. Tester committed to three debates with the first one completed in June.
We're sharing more highlights from Trump's rally online and on YouTube, and that's where you can watch Trump's full speech. So stay with NBC Montana in NBCMontana.com for complete Decision 2024 election coverage.